hi everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i will be showing you all how i do my skincare regimen and if you're interested just keep watching so first up i'm gonna be starting off with my makeup remover wipes since i am wearing makeup in this video so i'm just getting ready to unwind for the night so how i do that is first removing my makeup with my neutrogena makeup wipes which i love so much these are pretty affordable uh, they don't dry my skin out and they get the job done so yeah I know that I sped through this portion because I know a lot of people already know how to remove their makeup with the wipes but I just wanted to make it known that I'm really trying to get as much makeup off of my face as possible with those wipes so yeah so now I'm making sure to wash my hands and this step is very very important you guys this step is very important because you want to make sure that your hands are really clean before you go on to touching your face because you don't know what has been on your hands and if you're touching your face and you have germs and bacteria on your hands then that could lead to more breakouts and we definitely don't want that. So now I'm just wetting my face with some warm water just to open up my pores and then after that i'm going to start cleansing and the cleanser that i'm going to be using is the cetaphil daily facial cleanser i completely forgot to include a clip of it cetaphil has two cleansers they have the gentle facial cleanser and the daily facial cleanser i will be using the daily i prefer that cleanser over the gentle because it tends to foam up which i really like so first off i'm going to be using that with my hands first and then i'm going to move on to using my face brush which you'll see in the next clip i'm going to be using my clarisonic mia face brush i really really love this face brush um it has the interchangeable heads it has two different speeds um, I think like the deep cleansing speed and then like a daily speed I use this face brush every single day um, I really love it it is kind of expensive but I caught it on sale at my job so if you can catch it on sale then it's all good but either way it's definitely worth the money So I'm just taking that brush and I'm just rotating it all over my face with the Cetaphil that's on my face as well and it's just going to help that product to foam up and deep cleanse my face even more. This brush really works wonders you all. I get a lot of questions on my skin how I get it so glowy and clear and I really feel that the Clarisonic play a vital role in my skin being so clear as well as the other products that I will be showing you up next. And this is some of the makeup that was left on my skin. This just goes to show that using a brush is way better than using a And I'm gonna be pumping that Cetaphil onto my face one more time and then I'm going to be using my Clarisonic one last time to just make sure that all of the makeup is off of my face. You really, really want to make sure everything is off your face. Your face is really clean. This is so important y'all so that's why you're going to see me washing my face like this. <laughs> And after I'm done with my final cleanse, I'm going to be rinsing my face with warm water.
Now I'm just going to be taking a paper towel and wiping off my counter. And then I'm going to take another paper towel and use that to pat my face dry. You can use a rag or a bath cloth or a towel or whatever, but I just use paper towels. Now I'm just going to be taking some vitamin E oil on a folded up paper towel and I'm just going to wipe the edges of my face, um, like my hairline, side bones. I just like to put vitamin E oil on those areas for some reason uh, versus putting the witch hazel there. I just feel like it deeply moisturizes my skin. But if you want to use something else around the front of your face, you're more than welcome to. But I would recommend using vitamin E oil. Next, I'm going to be taking some witch hazel and I'm going to be putting that on a cotton pad and just sweeping it across my face. And the witch hazel is my toner. So yeah. Next, I'm going to be taking this Restore Facial Serum that has zinc in it by Vouching Labs. You guys, I love this product so much. It's so amazing. It makes my skin feel so good. It keeps it really moisturized because I do have pretty dry skin. And I get this product from TJ Maxx. I have not seen it anywhere else. I'm sure you can get it maybe like online or something like that but this product is so amazing and i feel like it's contributed to my skin being clear so i would definitely recommend this product and i just take two to three drops and then after i put the drops on my face i start to rub it inside of my skin and yeah Now I'm going to be taking this Aveeno Eczema Relief Cream and I'm going to be using just a little bit as my moisturizer because it's pretty thick. I really love this stuff. It doesn't smell the best because it has like oatmeal I think infused in it but it really keeps my skin so moisturized. Like I said I have dry skin and it's not heavy and I actually can use this um, like kind of as a primer I feel like that makes sense. Now I'm going to be taking the vitamin E oil again, but I'm going to be using it on my lips this time as a lip moisturizer. And then I'm going to put a little bit on my entire face to seal in all of the other products that I have used. And that is it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I really hope that it's beneficial and I hope that you try this routine out and it works for you. Don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye guys.